Namaste, good day to all my students. In this lecture, I will explain about sum of subset problem and which is solved using approach called it as a backward approach. Already I explained backward approach in the previous video. Those who are not watched that video, please watch that video first, then you can watch this video. So that you will clearly understand what is mean by backward approach. Same approach only we are going to solve sum of subset problem. First I will take one example and I will explain what is mean by sum of subset problem. This is a question. They will give some set of numbers and one value call it as D is equal to 15. Maybe we may have to take all these numbers or some of the numbers from this list while adding, we have to get 15 as the result. Maybe, I will repeat once again, maybe all these numbers, four numbers, maybe we have to take, then we have to add, then we will get 15. Otherwise, maybe some of these numbers, do not want to take all these numbers, some of these numbers, while adding, we will get 15. In this particular case, while adding, we have to add, one is 3, plus 5. When we are adding, we will get 8. Plus 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 while adding, we will get 15. That means we do not want to add 6. That means we have to remove 6. We don't want 6. We have to add 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 7, 15. That is the result because we will get the result. Next thing is what we have to do is while they are giving these numbers, we have to see that the number is arranged in the ascending order or not. Maybe they will give as 5, 3, 6, 7. Then that particular number is not arranged in the ascending order. Then before solving this problem, you have to arrange in the ascending order. That is must and should you have to do. In the increasing order of the number. First is small, next is its largest and so on. That is the way we have to do. While uh, seeing this one, you can check it out manually itself. We can get this number or not. Right? And one more thing, all the numbers are arranged in the increasing order only. You see here, first number it is given as 16. For just one example, I am saying, first number is 16, then all the numbers are greater than 15. There is no doubt. First number is 16. While comparing this one, we will understand that while adding not a single number itself, we can't get. That also we can identify from this one. That one I will explain while uh, solving this particular problem. I hope you understood. Just have to see that particular number while adding that some of the numbers or all the numbers we are getting this particular 15 or not. Then why it is explaining like this. This is A1, A2, A3 is this particular number. This is A1, this is A2, A3. This should be arranged in this particular order. That's why I told that it is in the increasing order or ascending order we have to arrange. Now directly we will see how to solve this particular problem, right? This is also the same problem only. You see here that answer also it is written here. Some set numbers are given and it is asking for D is equal to 9. Which are the numbers are adding 1, 2, 6. 1, 2, 6 are some of the numbers. If you are adding that one, we will get 9 or another combination is 1, 8. What is the meaning of this one is Maybe we will get one solution or maybe we are going to get more solution based upon the number plus what is the D value it is given. Now directly we will solve this particular number. See here, this is the way we have to solve. Same question I repeated here. First what is it is written here, I will explain here. See here, first before going to do, we have to check that we can get this answer or not D15. If the first value itself it is 16, can we get? No, it is not possible. That is the thing it is explaining here. That I will explain first one. First S, S is showing the sum. Initial value of S is 0. A of I plus 1. A of I plus 1 it is showing the first number. A of I plus 1 is the first number. A of, A of I plus 2 is the second number. The first number itself it is larger than D. We cannot get the solution because it is very big value. We cannot get the solution that you can understand here. Next to you see here. Next to you add all the numbers. While adding this all the numbers, which is lesser than 15 or so, we can't get. In this particular case, it is not lesser. Just to see that some of the numbers are given. 
that number all the numbers we are adding while adding itself that number is not reaching 15 what is the meaning of that one that means we can't get the solution that's it that are the two combination it is written here you have the lab program in the lab program also same way only it is checking first checking already i told first number is larger than 15 definitely we can't get the solution that is first case second case is while adding all the numbers it is greater it is less than 15 also we can't get first number is larger than 15 we can't get and sum of all the number is lesser than 15 also we can't get that two part first is the first one and this is the second condition right now how to solve this one and this type of diagrams uh, uh, what i explained previously also n twins problem that we will draw like this that also we will call it a state space tree this also we will call it as a state space tree maybe they will ask uh, in the examination draw the state space tree then you have to draw this tree only right now we i will explain first there also initial value is zero right first state now we are going with the three means we are going to add three that is zero plus three that is the meaning zero plus three is three right if you are adding three we have to consider that without three what is the value that is w bar zero is without three without three means zero is there we are not considering three definitely the answer will be zero correct next with the three is there next which is the number five correct that is why three answer we got with the five with the five means five plus three the answer it is eight okay see 8 is smaller than 15 there is a chance is there which is the next number 6 8 plus 6 what is the value with the 6 8 plus 6 it is 14 i missed to say one thing once we return with the 5 immediately please write without 5 otherwise you are going to forget and later it will get the difficulty what is without 5 without 5 means 5 we are not considering and what is the result here we have to write as it is right that 5 we are not considering which is the next number it is 6 that is why with the 6 with the 6 what is the value 6 plus 3 it is 9 right now we can consider we can directly write we do not want to put a circle and write 9 plus 7 which is the next number we already know that 6 we consider next is 7 9 plus 7 what is the number anyway that number is greater than 15 we do not want to consider that's why it is put a cross mark here also without 6 what is the number here 3 3 plus, what is the last number it is given here? 7, because up to 6 we are considered or not considered. Next number is 7. Next number is 7 means 3 plus 7 is definitely it is less than 15. There is no chance to reach 15 because that is the last number. Here also already I explained with the 5 we took, it is 8. Next number, what is that? 5 we are considered, next is 6. Right? Up to with the 5 we consider, next is 6. With the 6, with the 6 means 8 plus 6, it is 14. Same like here, 14 plus next number is 7. Definitely it is greater than 15. There also, there is no chance at all. Here you see here, without 0, with the 6 we are considered, without 6 we have to consider. Without 6 means same value what it is written here. Right? Without 6. Without 6, next value is 7. That is nothing but 8 plus 7. What is 8 plus 7? It is 15 then that is the solution you have to write here as solution because we will understand that how is the output with the three that tree you have to start with the root with the three with the five without six and with the seven that is the answer we have to write now if you are seeing as without seven with seven if you are writing without seven that if you are getting answer as eight definitely it is not going to satisfy like this here also we have to continue the tree without three the answer is 5. 3 we are not considered definitely. Next we have to consider 5. That's why with to 5. 0 plus 5 is 5. With to 5 if you are considering. Next we have to consider it without 5. What is without 5? Again it is 0. Right? Next with to 5 if you are considering. Next value is 6. With to 6. With to 6 is 11. Next if you are considering. Next value is 7. 11 plus 7. Anyway it is greater than 15. We can put a cross mark here. Next with the... Uh, 5 we consider we got 5 with the 6 here consider it's opposite side without 6 what is the value 5 again 5 plus 7 also last value we won't get as 15 this is the way you have to draw 
and you have to clearly explain at last here as solution and you can write also with the 3 with the 5 without 6 and with the 7 is the solution i hope it is clear thank you thank you very much to all my students